Thank you. What's up guys, this is Chad with Living the Van Life. Right now, I am down here in sunny Southern California. So far I've made my way down here to North San Diego County. It turns out it is actually one of my most favorite spots for van life. When I need an escape from the snowy mountains or the hot, hot deserts, I always find myself down here in Encinitas, California. The water's beautiful, the beaches are sandy, and the weather, no matter what time of year, seems to be just about perfect all the time. I've actually made my way down here because I'm going to be joining up with Brandon Walsh and Homemade Motorsports along with Racing 905. If you guys remember a few videos back, I accidentally met these fellows down in Ensenada, Mexico as I was making my way down for a Baja van life adventure, I ended up joining their race team for the Baja 1000. In fact, if you guys haven't seen that video, I highly, highly recommend it. Check out the link right up above here, put it on your watch list, and when this video is over, you definitely gotta check it out. It is worth the watch. In my humble opinion, I feel that it's actually one of the best videos that has ever been put out on my Living the Van Life YouTube channel. Tonight, I'm gonna cook up a delicious meal here over the ocean side. I'm gonna kick back and enjoy a little bit of van life before I go and meet up with the race team and get things prepped to head south across the border into Baja, Mexico for yet another off-road racing adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to this journey of Living the Van Life.
So late last night we showed up to Brandon's house just as he was backing the truck into the garage. And when I was backing up from going forward, I heard a big old snap. Something popped underneath the truck. Turns out it was one of the main bolts that hold the lower A-arm on the frame of the truck. And then it went clunk and I thought it was the motor or the tranny. And it was this. Through these bolts right here that run all the way through the arms on both sides. So we tried to cut the head of it off and then get a punch and punch it through but it's not moving at all. And it was back over here to the race shop for emergency repair. We're here to about, oh, I guess probably 2 a.m. working on that thing. Hit it while I try to spin it. Yeah. It's probably useful. Mm -hmm. Today is the day where we head south across the border. So we just uh, showed up here to the race shop, get the truck loaded up. Tying this beast down, heading down to San Felipe. 2022 San Felipe 250, it's gonna be awesome. We had a couple of hiccups over the week, but you know, like we all say we'd rather do them here at the shop, here in the States and down there, so hopefully we got all that the bugs out of the way now. We can enjoy ourselves down there and have a good race, you know? Last year we got second, the year before we got first, so trying to duplicate one of those, you know? You can guess which one that is. This show is headed across the border, down into Mexico. actually been hearing word that the town of San Felipe is actually completely out of fuel. No diesel, no gas. We don't actually do this. Usually we're getting gas the morning of the race because I kind of procrastinate on the gas thing, but we can't do that this time. For a town that is hosting a very large off-road racing event, could be a major issue. Filling up all the race trucks, the pre-runners, and all the gas cans for the race in Mexicali, which is two hours away from San Felipe, because again, they're out of gas. So if we don't do it now, we're not gonna have gas the whole weekend. So we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of the fuel that's here. We're gonna load up one of the uh, race cans with diesel and hope for the best that they're actually able to get some fuel back in the town. <laughs> bueno. Because we're planning on spending several days down there running around, filming, driving. We're gonna need as much fuel as possible. This is how we do it here. We sign the paper on top of the truck while the thing's inside of it. There you go. And then we just fill up like this. Welcome to Mexico.
there's that. All right, on to that. Well, made it into uh, San Felipe late last night. This is our urban stealth camping situation. The race team staying here at a villa here on the beach. So we just posted up across the alleyway over here. This was our urban stealth camp spot. Had a good night's sleep. Woke up this morning to uh, the sun rising over the beach, which is just right over the edge here. This is San Felipe. this morning there at the villa where the race team was staying decided that uh, we wanted to jump in the van head into town do a little bit of exploring one main street led to a side street which led to some dirt roads that actually headed out of the neighborhoods and out here into the back country we didn't exactly know what we were getting ourselves into but as we looked at the map we realized that this actually headed out here to uh, the shores of the Sea of Cortez and here we are, after doing a little bit of four-wheeling through some dirt roads out here in the mountains around San Felipe, we found ourselves down here on this beautiful little secluded beach. And uh, just posted up the van here. Elda decided to get his uh, fishing gear out. He's actually throwing some flies out in the uh, Sea of Cortez. See what the fishing is all about out here. Other than that, we're just chilling. The sun is absolutely gorgeous. The temperature is perfect. And the Sea of Cortez, really really freaking cool this right here is what mexico is all about there is a life i lead in this city hurry and cut my teeth i can take what i need to get by it doesn't make it easy yeah, the peace of my heart will show me Somewhere in the great unknown You'll now return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am born? Wait, oh, oh, oh. We'll be together, take me back where I've been I want it all Take me back where I do I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone I 
I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to live In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is going Bury with the light of gold When I return from my skin and bone Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Well, somebody somewhere, somehow, definitely put their time and effort into this property. The amount of stonework that went into the structure down by the ocean, pretty impressive for sure. And then of course that stairway that leads all the way up here to this bluff overlooking the Sea of Cortez. There is some sort of a structure here, whether it was a home or whatever. It's a beautiful spot and whoever it was definitely had an amazing view at one point or another. And it makes you stop and think of what must have happened in somebody's life that uh, forced them to have to abandon a cool piece of property like this and all the time and effort that went into it. But nonetheless, it striked my curiosity as we were sitting over there on the beach and I figured I'd uh, come hike up here, explore it, and check it out. Well, we certainly enjoyed a little slice of van life down here, Baja Mexico style on this cool little beach. But at this point, it's time to get the Sprinter van spooled back up, see if we can't climb our way back up out of here. It's taco time with the race team back in San Felipe, and then after that, it sounds like Brandon's got a little bit of a ride planned for LDOT and I as we're gonna crawl in the pre-runner truck. He's gonna give us a little bit of a taste of what off-road racing is all about. we go get into making a mess out of ourselves with some tacos here in San Felipe can we just talk about the liveinthevanlife.com website if you guys need LTVL hats LTVL t-shirts hoodies I know it's not necessarily hoodie season but that's the great thing about hoodies is they they really work any time of the year we've been shipping these things like crazy all over the world they're hard to keep in stock hoodies but let's talk about stickers this right here the overland sticker classic off-road yeah. racing color scheme whoa also another favorite because look at that We've got the Westie sporting on this sticker up in the mountains chilling now a big part of Baja Mexico and off-road racing is stickers it's part of the culture down there any of you that have traveled down into Baja Mexico you'll see that there's stickers plastered everywhere we are plastering these things all over down here in Baja this is the live in the van life Baja 2022 commemorative sticker these are now available on the website look at this right here black on black on black see that right there the stealth mode cap live in the van life black on black one of my favorites if you guys can't tell it's available on the website and like I say don't be a fool be cool head on over to live in the van life.com get your LTVL merch all right guys on to the next adventure from here we're gonna go grab some tacos before we jump in this pre runner truck and see what that's all about
tacos have been had. Gotta head back to the villa, load up with the pre runners, and we're headed out into the desert. Okay, so check this out. We are actually getting ready to jump in the pre runner truck with Brandon. He is uh, gonna take us for a ride. Uh, this is one of his original race trucks and uh, they now use it for pre-running which means they go out and uh, map out the course prior to the race and use all that information for the uh, race in the race truck so anyways this thing's pretty built out we're gonna go for a little bit of a spin see what this stuff is all about about to take chad and l rod here for their first uh ride in a baja truck down in baja so this is our pre-run truck it used to be the truck we raced uh, with toyota usa from 2016 to 2018 so it should be a good time well then should be a good time so of course here i'm sitting in the back of this damn thing brandon what the hell dude yeah, i'm actually, buried in like that is the safest spot in the whole car my friend probably is look at all these roll cages and shit around yes this is insane you wanted this nothing <laughs> you're lying yes you did you're gonna love every second of it when we go back out you're like let me go let me go <laughs> <laughs> That's that is freaking crazy. Was that crazy or what? I expected it to be like way, way, way rougher. Oh yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. And I'm sure we went through that turn at speed. You guys like, oh, this is gonna be bad, <laughs> <laughs> dude. We used to race this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, this is actually it's not even you know, it's, it's prime. I mean, we took some time and actually like got a good prep on this thing and replaced a bunch of parts. This thing can be even faster. So. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's, That's it. Awesome. Glad you guys liked it. Insanity. Total freaking insanity.
I mean, I expected it to be better than like a stock pickup truck, but that was like, I can't imagine what like the crazy race trucks are all about. It's insane. Now I know you guys are wondering, what the heck does all this off-road racing have anything to do with living in a van and van life? And after 11, almost 12 years of living in my van, I've got to say that that, that right there, all of this, all of this down here in Baja, it's all about life experiences. That's what it has to do with. I've been a longtime Baja race fan from afar by watching movies like Dust to Glory and eventually being part of the film crew for the sequel, Dust to Glory. But never have I had the opportunity to be up close and personal uh, with a race team to be this involved. And after joining Brandon's race team back in November for the Baja 1000, that truly goes down as one of the craziest, wildest, and most special adventures ever and it's all about the life experiences i cannot begin to tell you the amount of life experiences that have become a reality for me because of living in a van and this youtube channel is all about the life experiences that i find along my van life journey and it's an opportunity to share with you guys and bring you guys along on the adventure and that's why we're down here for these baja races because it's life experiences and this right here tonight was just a little bit of a glimpse into the action of what's yet to come on the next several episodes as we continue to unfold this Baja series of videos down here in Mexico. From this episode, we're getting into some pre-running tomorrow and then all the action comes down when we start the San Felipe 250. Lots and lots of action to come, so you guys definitely got to stay tuned for the next episode. And then after race day is done and complete, we're taking the Sprinter van further into the backcountry here in Baja. So lots more overlanding and van life stuff coming up down here in Baja. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and make sure and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that's actually what's going to notify you as these videos continue to roll out from Baja. But this right here wraps up this here live in the van life adventure. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night because tomorrow's a big day. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking.